so now we have the winning times and the next thing we need to do is just print the winning times okay so print winning times we know this function needs the winning team name which we have here which is the user winning team name that's the name that a user is searching for okay so I'm going to provide it here I'm going to pass it here the next thing it needs is the winning times which we have here we've already you know got, got we got it with that function and so I'm going to paste it here and we know this print function doesn't return anything it just prints out this data all right now that we are done with all our functions now we've only defined functions if we try to run this program nothing happens nothing happens because we've only defined functions we haven't called any function so we need to call the function we need to run even though this main function is calling all the functions the main function is a function itself and we need to call it and so I'm going to call the main function now which is going to again, go ahead and call these other functions I mean some of you know some of them are functions so it's going to call them I'll run the program so when I run this that says please enter the team name to search for all right so text edit has a nice handy feature all right I can I can let me just copy copy let's say for example the Philadelphia athletics I'm going to copy this this um, name and it has a feature to find something in this text file so I'm going to hit command F just to find it just to before I check see if uh, um, before I check see if uh, let's see which one did I copy did I copy that oops what did I do let's undo okay <laughs> let's redo all right save this all right so what I wanted to search for was the Philadelphia athletics I copied that and I hit enter so it's search it's basically set counting how many times it shows up and we can see these are the times it shows up so one two three four five and it actually says here I don't know if you can see it it's five so we know they're in a, they're in this file five times so let's search for let's first search for them Philadelphia athletics I'm going to type it Philadelphia athletics hit enter and it says oops okay so we all right <laughs> Okay, so we th there's a problem here over, over here. We're not actually printing the name of the team, but all right. So let's fix it. <coughs> let's fix it. And so actually, I I wanted us to see this before before I fix it because it's kind of hard um, fixing fixing this issue without you seeing it in action. All right. So over here we have the list of um, winning teams. We have it here. Before we do anything else, let's print out the list and see what's in there. So let's print out the winning team list just to see what's in there. So let's run this again. Type in. Okay, so actually it's good. We printed it out before we asked the user. So that's good. So we can see the list here. And even though it has the team names, it has this backslash N at the end of each team name. So you can see a backslash N here at the end of Boston Americans. We see another one here, backslash N at the end of New York Giant. Another backslash in at the end of Chicago White Sox. All right, so if you look at the file, let me just cancel this. Um, done. So each, you actually don't see this new line character. Okay, you don't see, let's just pull this up just so you can see, so you don't see this new line character at the end of the name, but it's actually there. Okay, at the end, it's, at, it's actually at the end of each name. We just don't see it. That's actually what's causing these names to be displayed vertically in the file all right so we have a name and we have a hidden new line character at the end of it but that's what we don't see but that's what's causing it to you know what's, what's causing this name for example to be displayed from the next line going so the new line character will create a new line it will break the line it will move the position from the end of this line to the next line and anything that comes after this boston americans will be displayed from the next line going there's a new line character here as well it will cause it will basically move the position from the end of this line to the next line and anything that comes after the New York Giants will be displayed from this line going so it's there we just don't see them but that's how the team names actually stored so it's the program is seeing in this entire value here as the as a team name so let's go ahead and remove that backslash and before we append those names to the list all right, so this is the point here in our read winning team names from file to list function. This is the point where we are appending the names, okay, the winning team to the list. 
before we append that name to the list, we want to strip, okay, we want to strip that backslash n from the from the right side of this name, okay, before we append it to the to the list. And there's a function called rstrip, which will strip anything that you specify from the right of any text. Okay, so we have the winning team here. We've checked to see if the winning team is not equal to an empty string. Before we append it to the list, let's go ahead and call our strip on the, that value, on the winning team value. So I'm going to refer to the, the, the string, okay, that text, uh, uh, that string, winning team, and I'm going to call that our strip, okay, that function. So the our strip that function is going to strip, okay, it's going to strip, you can see our strip, our stands for right, it's going to strip from the right side okay of this value here whatever you specify in this parentheses now what we want to strip you have to be specific what we want to strip is this new line character which is this backslash n from the end of each name so i'm going to specify strip anything that looks like a backslash n from the end of this name before you append it so when you call our strip it's going to strip it and it's going to return the result after stripping the backslash n okay so when it's returning it we need a place to store it i'm going to store it back in the variable name winning team i'm going to store it back in winning team so this winning team now will hold the correct name without the new line character and then now we can go ahead and append the winning team to the list let's run this and we can see the backslash ends are are gone now okay so the, i don't think that was why we got that error but this is this is an important uh, point here all right, so let's go to our print winning teams function. This was when we were displaying our winning, you know, winning team has won the World Series. Let's see. This is our user winning team name. Okay, that's why. This that's why. I'm sure some of you got it over here with our print winning times function. So this is our user winning team name. This is the name the user is searching for, and we know our print winning teams function. Okay, we'll take our winning team name and our, num and our number of times they won, okay? So over here, when we called our print winning times, we're supposed to give it our winning, okay, the winning team name, which is the user winning team name, All right? I don't know why I copied the print winning times here. I actually put, provided, co copied the entire function. I'm, I'm not sure. I didn't see it, but I'm sure some of you caught it. You have to provide the, okay? Um, print winning time. You have, to, you have to provide a winning team name, which we have here as the user winning team name. So I'm going to take that and replace this. It wasn't supposed to be print winning times. This is the function, and that's why it gave us that weird text. It's really the memory address of that function, I think. So I'm going to now take the user winning team name and paste it here. So we provide the user winning team name and the number of times they won. Okay, so let's now run our program. But but that I that issue we fixed over here, okay, by stripping the new line character is also good. Because then it wouldn't have it wouldn't have found the name that the user typed. If the user typed in the Philadelphia, whatever, I mean, I forgot the, I forgot the names of those teams. Uh, Philadelphia Athletics, it wouldn't find it in the list because it will, what's stored in the list is the Philadelphia Athletics new line backslash n, so it wouldn't find it. Now we've stripped it, so it should be able to find it. When I run the program, now we can see the list. Let's not let's not show it. So I'm going to delete this list we are printing. So let's run the program again. And I'm going to type in Philadelphia, exactly how, how it is in the file. So Philadelphia Athletics. I don't know if you remember, but when we checked in here, I'm going to do um, a find here again, and then paste in this. Actually, it says five times, not seven times. I thought I thought it said seven. So Philadelphia Athletics appears in this file five times. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So we are expecting this to say five. So I'm going to hit enter and it says Philadelphia Athletics has won the World Series five. Well, we need to add times to it. Over here it says Philadelphia has won the Series five. We can go ahead and add times as a string. Let's try again. Let's try something else. Let's try um, Boston Red Sox. I'm going to first find it in the file to see. It appears seven times. Okay, so let's just and do that so let's search for Boston Red Sox so Boston Red Sox hit enter and it says Boston Red Sox has won the World Series seven times <coughs> okay uh, this is based on the data in the file 
So the program is working. I think, let's see. Out of this name, it's the, the name that sounds familiar is New York Yankees, I guess. So that, let's first check how many times they won. Wow, they won 27 times. Okay, so you can see they appear in this file 27 times. So let's search in the program to see if it's correct. Hit done. Uh, New York Yankees. Okay, so I'm going to run this again. Let's type in New York Yankees. Hit enter. And it's correct. It says New York Yankees has won the World Series 27 times. All right, so, so we're done. But I just wanted to create some kind of a line break before uh, displaying how many times they won. So this is where we are asking in our, our, our this is where we're asking the user to type in the value here. Uh, after that, I'm going to call the print function. And when you're calling the print function and you tell it to print something, it's going to go ahead and print that something, all right. It's going to go ahead and do that. When I run the program and I type in something here, I mean, this name is not in the list, so it should say zero times. It says this has one, so it says zero times. That's correct, but it went ahead to print out exactly what I told it to print. So the new the print function sorry will print out whatever you tell it to print, but but it's also going to end whatever you whatever you've told it to print with a new line. It's going to move the position from the end of the line from the end of this line here to the to the next line, and anything that follows whatever you've asked it to print will be displayed from the next line going. The new line character by default ends with a new line, displays whatever we tell it to print, and it's going to end it with a new line. Move the position from the end of this line to the next line. Anything that comes after that will be displayed from the next line going. So if, if you call print fun the print function and passing nothing to it, this time around, you're not printing something on this line. You're printing nothing, OK? Now, you're still printing something, but that something ha happens to be nothing. You're printing nothing on this line. So it's going to print nothing on this empty line here. But by default, we also know that it ends with a new line. So it's going to print nothing and move the position from the end of that line that contains nothing to the next line. And anything that uh, follows that nothing you just printed will be displayed from the next line going. So basically, by calling the print function and passing nothing to it, you are creating an empty line. So when I quick call, call this function, oh, sorry, when I run the program and I type in New York Yankees, hit enter. Now we have our line break, and it says New York Yankees has won the World Series 27 times. I guess we should say have. I'm not sure. All right, but the program works, and we, we know we know that. Okay, so if you have any questions, please. Uh, let me know down in the comment section and I'll do everything to respond to them. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Um, have a good time. Have a good night. Have a nice time. Have a nice day, <laughs> wherever you are. And I'll see you next time with the next program. All right, then. Bye-bye.